Hey guys, uh, I'm actually working on an Etsy listing right now, but it's been a few days um, since I did a video. It is Christmas, so I thought I would give you an update on the uh, blue water, uh, blue green algae culture experiment. Uh, you might see that last video I posted, which I'll go ahead and throw in the comments. But as you can see, the water has uh, lost the blue pigment. It's completely gone. This is a very drastic, quick changing system here. Uh, it only took a few days. Uh, but with the dip disappearance of the blue water, we have a huge, huge influx in the amount of my small creatures. I believe these are paramecium. Now for a little backstory, this is a small jar. I believe it's a 32 ounce jar. And uh, I collected some blue green algae and put it in here to uh, test it and see if I could find a way to destroy it or to harvest it um, safely and organically. I didn't want to use chemicals or algae away or any of that crap. I wanted to find a creature that would eat it. Well, the algae has been in isolation for almost two weeks now. Uh, during the first week, the bottle turned extremely bright blue and the animal life inside flourished to extreme numbers. It was insane. Uh, now fast forward another five or seven days or so to today and you'll see that the blue green algae is almost gone it's essentially disappearing the blue pigment has disappeared um, I did add one sprig of creeping Jenny um, just because I happen to have an extra little stem of creeping Jenny laying around you probably won't see it very well in this video uh, yeah it's in there though and some of those broad yellowy looking leaves it was a struggling piece of Creeping Jenny, which is why I brought it in. But anyway guys, um, I just thought that you would like to see what's going on now. Like I said, the blue color is gone. So there goes that idea about blue water aquariums. Uh, still it's interesting and I would like to recreate that in another project very soon. Uh, but as you can see, uh, those aren't bubbles. Those are my tiny creatures. Um, with the disappearance of the blue-green algae, with the disappearance of the blue pigment, we have a huge, dramatic, insane, unbelievable increase in our number of our creatures inside. Um, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to go ahead and get the macro lens and let's take a closer look at these guys. There we go. This is some of the best footage I've ever had of these guys. There's no pump in this water. There's nothing. No mechanical action at all. Just me moving around the uh, shelf a little bit has caused these huge... Uh, dramatic swings and in, in microcurrents and uh, it's just unbelievable to see yeah so this was started with uh, samples taken from my farm tank of uh, supposedly toxic blue-green algae um, I have no way of verifying if it was a toxic variety but as you can see my creatures have been unaffected um, it looks to me like they're eating the blue-green algae and, and just reproducing um, I don't see so many of the snails that were in here so that's a possible sign of something that could happen, something bad. But I could be wrong. Um, lighter snails are pretty uh, active, and sometimes they get down in stuff and hide behind stuff and do their own thing. Uh, but yeah, as far as these little creatures go, um, this experiment has been uh, great. They seem to eat the blue-green algae. I can't verify that directly, but we'll have to do some more experiments. And uh, yeah, I think I might have a control mechanism. And uh, just look at these guys. This is insane to me. Um, I used to struggle with uh, raising ostracods and culturing little creatures. It was like a dream of mine, a goal, ever since I got into the aquarium hobby about two years ago. Uh, but at this rate, that goal's been achieved, man. Um, I can't even tell you the scientific name of these little creatures. Um, I personally think they're paramecium, and one or two of my uh, YouTube friends has all, have also said paramecium. And thank you for your uh, confirmation or your own opinion on the subject. I really appreciate it. Uh, if we ever make some more algae sales, guys, I'm trying to get some money. If we get some more money going, I will gladly order a telescope. Or a telescope. A microscope. Yeah. So we can examine these creatures uh, more closely. Right now I'm using a $5 mic uh, macro lens from Wish. And uh, it's pretty effective. You can see some flaws when I film with it, but it's not a bad tool. And you get one yourself pretty cheap. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's take a, a few more. Oh, look at that. That's so much easier to see like that. There's an ostracod going by. 
There we go. Let's pull our focus out. Ah, look at that. Now they are swarming over what might be a remnant of a piece of cucumber. I can't really tell. There is some uh, indistinguishable muck in the water. And I believe that may be a process of the algae dying off. Though I can't verify that for sure. That's what I would assume. Um, I did feed these creatures one time with a slice of cucumber just to get their populations going and hopefully get something that would eat the uh, blue-green algae. Um, these are my own creatures, by the way. These are not wild-caught. They are descendants of wild-caught creatures, but um, I've been raising them here in my home for uh, quite a while now. They're definitely fun and uh, entertaining. Look at that stream. Look at that. Like, what's even going on there? <laughs> um, I can confidently assume that I have at least a few hundred thousand of them in here, if not closer to a million. And uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited about this. Let's check the duckweed layer, because remember in the last video we saw quite a lot of action in the duckweed layer. Just like I hoped, uh, the water mites are still alive, they seem to be quite numerous, and they even seem to be a, a little bit more active now. Uh, I have assumed until now that these were uh, vegetarian or detritivores, but they may very well be predators um, eating the small parabenesium creatures. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, if that's the case, then it's welcome news because I now need a method to control paramecium. Uh, not that they're a problem in any way, but uh, I mean, this is insane. I'm going to have to find something to do with them. Hopefully, somebody on the internet will be uh, interested in purchasing some cultures from me. I recently acquired my new containers and my new boxes, and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start shipping, uh, continental US only. So yeah, if you want some of these little paramecium creatures, or some detritus worms, or even some of those water mites, I can probably do that for you. Um, there's a link to my Etsy shop in the description, and I am, uh, right now, writing up uh, descriptions, listings, uh, figure out what I'm going to sell. Most likely duckweed, mud midget, dayflower, creeping jenny, uh, bladder wort, uh, obviously Nutella ma macroalgae, uh, water mites, bladder snails, ostracods, Oh, uh, there's so many things that I have been breeding lately that I have extras, and I uh, would like to share them with you. Um, as far as pricing, I'm probably just going to go like $19.99 and everything with free shipping. Uh, I am shipping these with methods that cost uh, between $10 and $15. Um, I include a small crush-resistant bottle, uh, along with uh, enough packing material to protect it in the box. I also use my own boxes, no more flat rate boxes. But uh, all in all, you know, if I charge about 20 bucks, I make about $5 off the deal after all the finances and fees. And uh, yeah, in return you get awesome little creatures or very enjoyable plants. We're going to turn this a little bit because I see some strange action going on over here. This ostracod is definitely hanging out with these water mites. Two ostracods. Oh wow, I love this macro lens. This was a $5... Uh, Chinese macro lens. I was very skeptical. It kind of clips onto my camera. But, uh, wow. Without that final lens, I wouldn't be able to show you guys what this looks like right now. This is amazing. Um, our diversity in species numbers may have decreased slightly. I don't see so many of the worms up here now. Uh, and I don't see the bladder snails. Um, unless that's one right there. It's kind of hard to tell at uh, different times. Hoping one of them comes cruising by here pretty soon. Uh, yeah, he seems to be active right there. Uh, but yeah, the uh, number, the overall population of creatures in this little jar has exploded. Uh, the blue water has disappeared. Uh, the blue-green algae seems to be dying off. And my Nutella algae, my mud midget, and my duckweed uh, seem to be doing fine. This, The uh, branch of Creeping Jenny that I added, it was already struggling. It was growing outside in cold weather, so I didn't really expect it to do very well. Uh, but I included it because creatures will often eat Creeping Jenny. Um, even when I tried some in an aquarium, my little guppies ate it, or they at least tore it to pieces. So yeah. Uh, but I threw it in there anyway. Worst case scenario, the creatures will eat it. Um, I did not mean to start this kind of aquarium here. 
like I said, this was just samples taken from my farm tank. Uh, but yeah, this is how it's worked out. And I've created, out of an empty jar and some samples from my tank, I've created this amazing, extremely overpopulated, overstocked 32 ounce jar. Uh, so make of it what you will. Uh, my name is Bucket Ponds, and I am on Etsy with some of this stuff, and I, I am also on Pinterest, and I have a blog. You can find all of the descriptions, or all the links in the description, and uh, I'm really working on getting monetized. So if you have any interest in what I do, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Watch a couple videos, that's the greatest way to help me out on YouTube. If you want to support the channel directly, you can go to my Etsy shop and purchase something. Right now I have Nutella macroalgae for sale, and soon I will have all sorts of other stuff within the next few days. Uh, so I hope you had a nice Christmas. My name is Bucket Ponds, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, and you guys have to name all these little creatures, by the way. I can't do it. Um, there's at least, like, 15 ostracods and 20 water mites up here that have no names. If we can't name the species, name the, uh, name the tank. Yeah, that'd be cool. So, yeah, thanks.